On Monday, Japanese people across the globe observed the two-year anniversary of the tsunami that rocked the country's eastern border. The 9.0 magnitude earthquake and following tsunami killed more than 15,000 people and caused $35 billion in property loss. Waves as tall as 124 feet battered Japan's coast, destroying more than 45,000 buildings. ABC mentions the ceremony held in Tokyo. Emperor Akihito and Empress Michiko joined victims in attendance, bowing their heads at 2.46 p.m. local time, the moment the quake struck. Los Angeles held its own remembrance service outside the L.A. Police Department building Sunday, according to the L.A. Times. One sign asked the crowd to write messages to residents of the still reeling Tohoku area. Many of them often mention what they are really scared of. It said it's to be forgotten. Japan will spend 25 trillion yen or $262 billion on reconstruction in the next five years in a rebuilding effort that's been criticized for its slow pace, The Guardian says. Two years on, more than 300,000 people are still living within temporary accommodation and practically no rebuilding has taken place near areas where whole communities once stood. Now flattened swaths of land blanketed in grass and weeds. Uh, they're trying to get every community to reach a consensus on how the rebuilding should take place. Uh, but it is now an awful long time since the, uh, the tsunami, two years. You would have expected something to have begun by now. And let's not forget the nuclear radiation still around Fukushima, also stopping people from returning to their homes. On Monday, 800 residents of northeast Japan filed a lawsuit against nuclear plant owner Tokyo Electric Power Company. One of the claimants tells the Telegraph why they are filing this suit. We're angry at the government for failing to help us. Many people have suffered with suicide, depression, and financial problems. We want our lives back to how they were before the disaster. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.